going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto option i don't know yes i'm recording on a potato today in other words the iphone 11 pro uh i don't have time to sit there and pull out the gimbal and the big camera and do all the editing and stuff guys so please forgive me we're going to jump right into this because basically in this video i just want to show you around i got a couple real big shout outs that i definitely want to get to um and then i'm going to explain why we haven't had any videos for it hadn't been that long but for a little while Let's jump into it. So to start with, we've been working on the house and obviously taking care of the new dog that we've adopted. We're about to be leaving for another trip. Right, Ace? Yes. Yeah, we're leaving for another trip, guys. Back to Washington State. Uh, I've been spending the last few days honestly getting stuff done that just needed to be done, guys. Um, I've been working on moving from the other house uh, down here to the AR headquarters house. That's been a hell of a job in and of itself. Uh, today, we worked on mostly yard work. As you can see, the yard actually looks, I'd say it looks pretty damn decent. Hopefully I'm not making y'all dizzy. But uh, yeah, I'll take you out, show you the yard real quick. And then we're gonna go into the shop because I literally have spent the better part of the last two days working on the shop this is still here i'm hoping this this goes away soon disappears but uh yeah man i put a lot of work into the yard here and uh see if we can get the camera to stop shaking right the yard's looking pretty good there's a little patch right here we still have to mow right there the jeep was sitting there you can actually see the tire marks from the jeep there but uh there's where the cars have been parked we got a little fire that we need to take care of. Uh, finishing up, cleaning up that uh, burn pile out there so that the grass can grow back. But I think we've got the yard actually looking pretty decent. So now we'll move on to the shop because honestly guys, this has been the center of my, the center of my existence for the past couple of days. Uh, people have been asking me on Instagram pretty regularly, uh, regularly and Facebook, how are the Mr. Cool units doing? Let me tell you something, guys. They are doing phenomenal. Phenomenal. When you consider these units are $1,100 a piece, plus tax, of course. Uh, these are the 24,000 BTU. I've mentioned that a million times. But when you consider they're literally $1,100 a piece, have you priced a good 220, you know, a big window unit? Uh, guys, a big window unit can be four or $500 easily. All right, so for basically double the price of a good window unit, You've got a really, really nice, uh, well, I wouldn't call it central air, but you know what I mean, a nice mini split. The Fury is still waiting on parts, guys. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do any more videos on that until I get back. The Cornet, weird beard on YouTube really shocked me with the Cornet, guys. He, uh, he didn't talk to me about it. He just kind of jumped in and started doing the body work. And I know so many of you said, please have weird beard do the body work guys i would have loved to but he told me he just he didn't have the time for it. it's too big of a job but i think weird beard fell in love with the car and uh I, I i think i think that's what happened i think he got a hold of it and he just fell in love with it he couldn't help himself so go check out weird beard on youtube because i guarantee you he's got content you're not going to want to miss so why are we staring at the thermometer well right now it's about 82 degrees outside about 72 percent humidity we're gonna walk in here. Oh yeah, you didn't think the Hellcat was gone, did you? I know I'm gonna get asked, where's the truck? Jessica has the truck, she's out getting pizza. Where's the Hellcat? Hellcat's right there. Where's the Jeep? Jeep is right there. Where's the Camaro SS? The Camaro SS is at the other house. Now, the point of that was to show you these Mr. Cool units are set on 69 degrees and we are currently at 72, maybe 73 degrees. I know that seems like ah, they're not doing all that great, but generally speaking, this thing is usually sitting right at 70. And uh, the reason why it's warm in here, I just opened both of these bay doors. Yeah, yeah, I had to pull the Hellcat in for the video and I pulled the Jeep in for the video. So I had both of these doors open. So in other words, we lost a lot of cooling, but it still feels great in here. So giving you a look around, there is the, uh, what would you call that? Uh, what would you call it? Yeah, I would I would call that the uh, the flag that Austin gave us. 
<laughs> we got the uh, thank you Austin Carr on YouTube as well. Be sure to check him out. I did a lot of organizing. I got a lot of my stuff together, guys, and 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 this is it. There's a few things I put into totes, uh, toe straps, a bunch of extension cords, lawnmower sits over here, compressor, more lawn equipment, all the gasoline and stuff, uh, that that type of thing. Jump pack down there. Over here we've got our chargers, and I've got lots of chargers, guys. Lots of chargers because I got to keep all of this stuff charged up all right a great book copart junk to gold oh boy standing right here guys feels good we got the ladder up there some of you might remember this that's from the uh s s600 mercedes the v12 mercedes that jump started my channel then we've got the atari 800 right here and real quick i got to give a shout out to charles charles reese sent me this uh been watching since your trailer was stolen. that's been a, that's been quite a while he said i've always wanted a range rover and since i didn't want to mess with the finances of owning one he got me <laughs> this is this is absolutely great he got me a range rover and a tesla model 3 hey i really appreciate that man thank you that's all i honestly got a hell of a laugh out of that man so thank you very much and hey for those of you that are wanting to send stuff you can send it to 704 south avery street in moore oklahoma 73160 all right that's the address you can send stuff to uh i will be getting a p.o box shortly um some of the other stuff that was in here was a brand that's actually a brand of some sort this is some kind of a death trap i'm not really sure what for some rolled up rusted barbed wire and down here i've got some more tools jack stands jack uh my bag of dewalt stuff that was given to me by autoauctions.io big shout out to them craftsman tool set that i've had for over 10 years now then we've got my my cleaning supply okay this is basically everything that i use when i clean up cars and everything down here is for the Plymouth Fury. All right, so that's what that is. Another ladder over here, my JEGS sticker. Bike hanging up on the wall there. We've got our tires that was sent to us from Coker Tire. These new white walls are going to look really, really good on the 59 Cornet. Got my Milwaukee M12 Lite. I've got a battery tester. We've got a battery reconditioner, a battery charger, the pressure washer, pressure washer head. Another set of tires that honestly, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with. I can't, I can't stop looking at this beautiful car though. Uh, I keep thinking about selling it guys because I found, I found a Roadrunner that I would really love to have. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what a Roadrunner is, right? Uh, yeah, I would love to have that Roadrunner, and I'm really considering it. But anyway, we'll get to that in another video. I, I spent basically all my time for the last two days organizing. I had to take all of this stuff from my other house. Yes, all of this was in the garage of my other house. And I had to bring it here, put it all together, and organized so obviously all of my fluids and stuff are here cleaners lots of uh merc on five lots and lots of two cases of that lots of antifreeze some cleaners from degreasers and uh windshield washers we've got the lead substitute tranny fluid more tranny fluid more tranny fluid motor oil motor oil brake fluid power steering and then just all of the you know pb blaster then we got grease up there and then over here you know goof off and all the all the good stuff down here starting fluid and stuff like that brake cleaner down here along with a bunch of brake parts for the 59 a bunch of my empty cases to stuff that i regularly uh, regularly lose yeah, that's probably more accurate regularly use uh, a few little miscellaneous tools here and there then we got, I call this the electrical shelf. There's not really much there, but the essentials, a soldering iron, a solder sucker, a voltmeter, uh, your, just your basic stuff that you use for electrical. And then randomly two, uh, two measuring tapes. Uh, then we got some of the bigger tools down here. BFH, big freaking hammers, some of that. Then we got down here, our very lonely earthquake tools, more uh, battery operated tools. Some of them, it's kind of just a mixture right here. DAs, grinders, trimmers, chainsaw, chainsaw oil. This is the air conditioning shelf over here. 
All right, lots of R134, and then that Frosty Cool 12A, which is interchangeable with R12 in case you get one of those old cars. All right, there's some of my pneumatic tools, and then we just get down here to like body clips, zip ties, rags, and that is pretty much the whole shop, guys. Man, there's so much room in here. I don't know if it looks like it with this, this iPhone camera because it's like really zoomed in, but there is so much room in here, guys. It's it's kind of insane that I have so much room to be able to sit in here and do all the stuff I need to do. I'm loving it. Next, I'd like to give a very special thank you and shout out to you men and women over there in Europe watching these videos in the 5th Battalion 101 Combat Aviation Brigade. I really appreciate you guys and gals over there, man. Thank you so much for what you do. We appreciate you. I hope you uh, are safe. I hope you guys are, you know, at least in somewhat good spirits over there. And if watching these videos, you know, helps make your day better, man, that, that means a lot to me. So thank you for sending me an email and asking me to give you a shout out. Like absolutely no problem at all. I'm honored to be able to give you guys a shout out on this video. So thank you so much. Now, what are you doing, Junior? You're always causing trouble, man. He's always over here trying to start trouble. Come here, come on, up, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Junior wants to say hi. Say, uh, Yes, tell. <laughs> Come on, man. Say say hi to everybody. No, you want to get down? Oh, you see a cicada. Guys, I think it's a cicada. These things are all over the place in here. Anyway, uh, I am about to leave. I, I keep wanting to say vacation. This is not a vacation, guys. In fact, there is going to be some business stuff that I got to take care of uh, on this trip at the same time. Um, crazy weather coming, apparently. Crazy weather. We're supposed to be leaving tomorrow. Yeah, believe it or not, this video is recorded on the day it's going to air. I'm airing it late tonight because I have been out doing work all day preparing. I had to get this shop done. You guys know what I'm talking about. You don't ever want to leave for a trip. This, this trip's probably going to take me a week, all right, to get by the time we drive to Washington State and drive back. Don't you piss on that tire. Don't you piss on that tire. Hey, 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 Let don't. Don't do it, man. That is a fireable offense right there. I will fire you from the channel, you piss on that car. Don't piss on the Jeep neither. Anyway, <laughs> the weather is looking crazy. And, you know, if you're going to be gone somewhere on, on, on a trip for about a week, the last thing you want to do is come home to a dirty house to an, a disorganized, dirty shop, to a yard that's overgrown that needs to be taken care of. So today is like the last day. We're supposed to be leaving tomorrow. Copart was closed today, so I couldn't do the Copart walk around today. That means I got to do the Copart walk around tomorrow, which means I got to get up. The truck goes in for service for an oil change and both fuel filters. Uh, first thing, 7, 10 in the morning. It takes me an hour to get to the city, which means I got to be up at like 5, 30 in the morning to get the truck into service, then get to Copart, do the Copart walk around, go back, get the truck, come home, edit and upload all the videos. So today was my only day to get everything done. And thankfully, I've had a lot of help. Jessica helped a ton with getting the house done. Asa and I worked our butts off getting the yard work done. Big shout out to him, man. He has been a phenomenal help. I even let him drive three of the cars today. He drove the Impala. We had to move them because the, get, the grass is literally dead underneath where these things have been sitting. So we, we needed to move them so the grass would grow back. Um, we moved the Impala, we moved the convertible Sienna, and we moved the Bonneville. Will you quit torturing the poor little cicada? He's not bothering you, man. Why do you have to kill everything? You're awful. You're awful, Junior. He's a killer. He is. He's a baby, but he's a... He loves... I, I don't think... Oh, hey, see? Now, you're pissing him off now. <laughs> Guys, you gotta see this. He doesn't know what he wants to do. What are you going to do with it? Yeah, see? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, that's just that's brutal, man. That's brutal. Brutal. What what are you doing to him? What did he ever do to you, huh? What did he ever do to you? He's such a playful puppy. <laughs> this is awful. This this is awful. I may not include this in the video, but he's just, <laughs> he's just, he's just so damn playful. 
Yeah, you're you're literally torturing that poor cicada or locust or whatever it is. I think they spend like 10 years in the ground and then they get to come out and they live for like a day. And this one is spending his day getting tortured by, oh wow, uh oh, oh wow. It's the fight is on now. The fight is on now. Don't look at me. I'm not helping you. You shouldn't be messing with him. Anyway, let's get... He's <laughs> such a puppy. You're such a puppy, Junior. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's get back to the video. So as I said, I've had a lot of help getting stuff done today. I'm I'm nasty. I got to get a shower. We're about to have dinner. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what's going to be going on for this next week. Now, some of you are going to love it, and some of you are probably going to hate it. You're going to be bored out of your mind. Can we quit killing the thing long enough for me to finish a video? Um, Junior, hey, calm down, buddy. All right, let's, let's just leave the little guy alone. Okay, so for this next week... It's gonna be all Copart walkarounds. I've already got three Copart walkarounds recorded that I've had saved in case something happens, something comes up, and here we are. So I've got three walkarounds already recorded. Tomorrow I'm gonna to go to Copart. I'm going to record three more. So that's gonna be six walkarounds that should cover you guys through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's usual. Come on, man. Leave them be. So that should carry you guys through Monday, which is no, usually no videos on Monday anyway. Uh, so that'll get us to Tuesday. And I don't know what's going to happen on Tuesday. I should be back by then. I don't know if I'm going to have any videos for Tuesday. I have no idea exactly when I'm going to be back, how long I'm going to be gone. What I do know is that we all put in a lot of work to make this place nice so that when we get home, we don't have to stress over you know a dirty house or having to deal with the shop. We can get right back to work. All the parts for the Fury hopefully we'll be in by the time i get back so hopefully when i get back we'll be able to jump into the fury get the cooling system rebuilt get the full tune-up done to it and 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 actually be able to enjoy taking that car out on the road oil change all that good stuff guys i got a lot of stuff coming i've got a few cars that i'm looking at and considering bidding on while i'm gone so don't worry we're gonna get back to it but guys it has been the last couple of weeks have been insane for me, so I cannot promise that we're going to have daily vlogs again for a while because I am still buried in work, moving from the other house, packing it up, and bringing it down here and unpacking. It is a hell of a chore because we are doing one truck bed load at a time. One. It's an hour there, an hour back. We load up what we can fit in the truck, and then we drive it down here and unload it. And by the time we do one load, we're about done for the day. So I wanted to give you guys an update. I want to give those special uh, shout outs and just let you guys know. I haven't forgot about you, man. In fact, I I just pre-ordered uh, against my better judgment, but I've seen such positive comments on the new video quality and the new audio quality. Now, not from this, because this is just a Sony iPhone or Sony. I got to go to bed iPhone 11 Pro. Um, so this is not the video quality I'm talking about, but there have been such big, big changes in the amount of views I've been getting since I switched over to the Canon M50. Uh, and now I've got my audio figured out on it. I decided it's it's time to pull the pull the trigger. I went ahead and pre-ordered. Guy, it was I, I don't really I'm not even going to tell you how much it was. That's really not important. But I ordered a uh, Sony um, A7S Mark III, pre-ordered it, pre-ordered the G Master Sony, uh, I think it's 12 to 24 millimeter lens, that lens alone, oh my god, the lens costs as much as the camera, okay, the compact flash card, the tough card that they're coming out with, uh, this will all be hopefully shipped out sometime late September, early October, the card itself, just for the memory card, was $380 for a memory card. By the time it was done, guys, I, I, I'm, I can't believe how much it all cost, but it should take video and audio to a whole nother level. Not that, not that great video quality brings subscribers. Good content brings subscribers. I mean, hell, look at Goon Squad. They've got, what, 
they got 2 million subscribers now. I think they did their first 500 or 700,000 subscribers on an iPhone just like this. So it, 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 it's not a thing of I'm going to get bigger, better equipment and that's going to bring subscribers. Absolutely not. If you don't have decent content, people aren't going to watch. But for the people that are currently watching and the people that are going to be watching, I want to make sure that I'm bringing you the best video and audio quality that I can. So I went ahead and dropped the extra dollars to go ahead and pick up the best equipment that's going to be coming out on the market here in the near future. So hopefully uh, that stuff comes in early October. I'm excited about it. The extra video editing, I'm not nearly as excited about, but we'll get it figured out, guys. I'm going to get out of here. The dog is still, I think he actually finally killed it. That's the only reason it's not making noise anymore. But uh, I am going to get out of here, guys. I'm going to go eat dinner. I hope this video was, I know it wasn't all that entertaining, but I hope it at least gave you some insight. So I've, I've had a lot of people asking me, where's the videos? Where the, where's the videos? Because I usually put a video out almost every day, uh, six days a week. And... I've just been too busy, guys. I'm trying to get things done. Junior, are you just gonna keep killing it? I feel so bad for the little bug. I hope you. I hope he at least eats it, you know? He shouldn't be hungry. Yeah, you killed it. Okay, hopefully he eats the damn thing and doesn't leave it on the floor. If you enjoyed the short video, guys, give it a big thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. If you didn't, well, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's fine, too. Drop your comments down below. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Don't forget, guys, weird beard man go subscribe to his channel because he is already tearing in to the 59 coronet i had no idea who was doing it guys go follow him on instagram too i believe his instagram is weird beard auto sales because you're going to see pictures of the coronet he's he's got the chrome and everything torn he's already tearing the panels down blocking them off and his work is phenomenal uh, you'll never hear me say otherwise. His work is phenomenal. I did ask him a while back if he would take this on. He said that, you know, he would, but he's got so much going on, he didn't have time. I know what happened, though, because the same type of thing happens to me, man. He got a hold of that car. He fell in love with it, and he didn't want to see anybody else get their hands on it and potentially mess it up. So he decided to just go ahead and knock it out himself. And Weird Beard, I appreciate that, man. So go subscribe to Weird Beard on YouTube. Follow him, Weird Beard Auto Sales on Instagram. Links in the comment. Links in the description. Thank you so much, Weird Beard. You guys are going to love that cornet. And, and it, like, I'm telling you, my heart is just like, I'm so excited to get the cornet back. Yes, it is still going to New York. Yes, it's still getting the motor rebuilt or something, the transmission rebuilt. Lunar Outlaw, big shout out to him, man. Lunar Outlaw's garage. Uh, linked in the description to him as well. So go follow him because he's going to be doing that. Now we're going to get out of here, guys. Until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I hope you had a good Labor Day. I got it. Honestly, I need to be getting bed because I got a long day tomorrow. Stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.